What's going on everybody? Another segment of Bust and Wax with Max. Last time I told you that I would go into depth about this and why this was a good purchase at $49.99. Um, and here we are today. So today, Dimitri and I went out, well I actually had to get the oil change in my truck and uh, Dimitri met me over at uh, Buy Mart where I was actually able to find a couple of Heritage packs so that's another place. If you guys have buy marts near you, they do hold them usually at the at the customer service desk. You can go ask, and uh, they have a two. They had a two limit at this particular one. But anyways, he picked me up. We while I was waiting, we kind of drove around, found this little hole in the wall place. I'm gonna give him a shout out. His name is uh, on Instagram is New Day Collectibles, and. Um, found this there which you know it, it was kind of hidden so it was like this i couldn't see the price tag and thinking you know that this was going to be a hundred dollar ninety dollar box uh, i was pleasantly surprised to see 49.99 which is what it was originally sold for um, these usually come in a bunch of different variations they come with in the base set they come with in the hobby set they come uh, i don't even know what necessarily this one is but it comes with um it's not hobby but it comes with all of the cards from Series 1 and 2 from 2019, as well as five rookie image variation cards. So for those keeping track at home, you know, you're going to get, you know, all these guys that are on the cover here. But if you really think about what 2019 was, um, we're actually going to do a little hot swap here and show you. That is a 2019 Fernando Tatis Jr. So there's one of those in there. There's a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in there. A couple other decent rookies. And um, here's your five card image variation. You get a Kyle Tucker who's been great this year. You get uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. You get Pete Alonso. Yusei Kikuchi who's been good this year. Don't bank on that meaning much. He's a pitcher and um, on focus and then the last one I'm just gonna read it because it's not gonna it's not going is Eloy Jimenez there we go if you want to freeze frame you can see all the cards that are gonna be in this um, so for me 50 bucks says 100% of steel if not for just two cards although there's probably 10 car at least 10 cards in here that are worth uh, that easily make the money back just by themselves, or maybe not just by themselves, but at least one card makes up the entire purchase. Uh, and it's that Tati's Jr. And you get two of them. So I'm going to break into this. This is going to probably be a fairly boring video for some of you. I'm not really going to go super in-depth. I'm just going to look for the cards that I really want. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get our five-card variation right here. Those are all going to go into um, sleeves and top loaders. Uh, the image variations, I mean, what you'll see is they will say on them. I'll show you what they all look like. Uh, when you get them, if you, if you get them graded, they will be considered or called the complete set version. So, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., your current home run leader in the major leagues. Fernando Tatis Jr., the, the image variation. Yusei Kikuchi. Pete Alonso. Eloy Jimenez. So these are all image variation cards. So we should be able to find the other ones in here. Um, so I'll just kind of dig this one. And usually you get really lucky with these, um, and that's highly unfortunate. So the last card on the box is the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And there's a huge crease right there. Womp womp. That was, that's very unfortunate. So we're still going to sleeve it. We're still going to get that taken care of um, in a top loader. But obviously that is uh, not what you want. But... Uh, not still not bad to have one, but we're just going to try to fly through some of these. Um, you know, some of these guys aren't even in the league anymore. 
and I'm just going to end up putting these right back in the box, putting them on the shelf somewhere. Look at that. There we go. And this one's going to go straight. This one looks really good. A little bit of space between the uh, glove and the edge. And uh, there you go, voila. Tatis. I think these are the ones I just picked up. They are. Um, and after we, I mean, that's really the only two big ones. There's, there's going to be a couple of other guys in here, like David Fletcher that I like. Not a power hitter, but, um, you know, he's, he's definitely been a, a really good player. And in fact, I think the Ronald Acuna Jr. Gold Cup card's in here, which is a couple dollar card. Um, I think Nate Lau's rookie card is in here. Eloy's rookie card will, will grab, even though he's... Hurt. I'm hoping he can maybe sneak back in this year. Um, but, you know, guys like that. This is So this is, uh, in my mind, was just already a steal. Two, the two Tatis cards just pay for it. And, you know, a PSA 10 Tatis um, going for about 300 bucks, 250, 300. Um, not Albies rookie year. Um, so yeah, let me know in the in the comments if you have ever found these or if you've ever opened these. What you guys think of the top, the complete sets? Do they kind of dilute the value of buying? Um, see, here's a rookie, but who cares? Um, does this dilute the value of uh, buying packs if you can just go and buy a complete set? Does it enhance the value? Um, you know, I just want to know what you guys think. So there's a Shohei Itani Gold Cup. Not, uh, nothing special, but um, a couple couple bucks here there. But, you know, some people really, really like the Gold Cup cards and treat them almost like rookie cards. Some, you know, sometimes people get lucky and they get their picture, their rookie card, and their Gold Cup card in the same year. Ronnie Rodriguez... Isaac Galloway. I mean, we got 700, 700 or so cards to go through total, so just trying to get through these. Pete Alonzo, that's one. If he can bounce back, and, and Eloy. So I, I'll probably uh, call it right there just because those are really the big ones. But uh, if you guys have any questions about, uh, you know, the complete sets, feel free to let me know. Let me know what you guys, uh, what I asked earlier. Um, go ahead and like this video and, you know, help us out. Have a great rest of your night and uh, keep hunting.